is the opening of a conversation. It starts growing trust and relationships. And that takes time because the people we look after are really untrusting. So a hot meal and a bit of company, even a touch on the hand, you know, when they're having a cup of tea, that's the opportunity for engagement. And that's then we can build those relationships. So food is the start of it. We've got four sessions a week, three are food provision and one is an outreach where we do eye tests. The community nurse comes, we fill out forms, help people with universal credit, PIP applications, getting them into pro properties, helping them with their license agreement forms, all that sort of stuff. A lot of the people who might come to us don't have a lot of control over things in their lives. So it's not that, oh, I might go shopping and I can afford to, you know, they don't have, they can't necessarily make those choices. So a lot of it is this kind of stress stuff that even the rest of us find difficult. Um, and also they might not have the, um, the skills to know or what they're meant to do. There are so many other things that we can um, do. The outreach is endless, really. You know, getting somebody close for an interview, there are charities out there, but we can support with that. A phone if they need it, a SIM card if they need it. But today, for instance, we had Julie came in. She spent all day cooking, getting the food ready. We've had donations from supermarkets come in that have had to be sorted. We have committed ourselves to the vulnerable in this community to help them, keep them fed, keep them cared for as best we can. There will always be people coming through that are vulnerable, that are finding themselves homeless. Some people are so so broken and so sad and they don't know where to go so we have to hold their hand and show them they've got hope and hope's important